Well, viewers, you can look at me and tell the fat man loves fried crappy. Everybody loves fried, fried crappy. They're probably the best tasting fish of any fish that I've ever tasted. But all the time, all the time, we just want to change a little bit. So what we're going to do today is something I want you to take note. We're going to do a crappy casserole. And until you stick your tongue in that, you ain't had nothing. So it's a good change. And it's simple. Even your wife would love this. It's got four ingredients pretty well is all you need. So I got, all right, let's get started. I got the oven preheating at 350 degrees. So what we gotta do, I got I got a buttered pan here, or sprayed with Pam, whatever you wanna do with. And you take onions. Now these are, you know, I, I like sweet Vidalia onions. But these are not, I don't think, but that's fine. Onions is an onion. And you just cover the bottom of this pan with onions. Everybody loves fish and onions anyway. So you just cover the bottom of this pan, just like that. Doesn't have to be real pretty, just cover it good. There's many different ways to try to cook crappy and I'm always looking for something different. That looks pretty good. Right there, I don't think you can ever have enough onions because they're going to be cooked and they're going to be soft and they're going to be good. Now, I'm just going to salt and pepper the onions just a little bit. Not a whole bunch. And you can use all the spices you want to use. Some people like to use Old Bay and then they put a little bit of hot sauce in them and stuff like that. This is just simple. First ingredient gone. Now I'm going to take my fillets. And you just lay them fillets in here. And I like it good and thick. In other words, I don't want to taste crappy when I bite down in that thing. I don't want to put five or six. I've got a good helping full of crappy that I'm putting in this baby. I like to turn the fat into the outside. That makes it a little bit better. Make sure it gets all the way out there. And you just layer it in there just like that. You can talk the sweetie into doing this for you. Because honestly, it is about as simple as it could get. Now that I've got my fish in here, let's salt and pepper. I like to get some good flavor on here. I ain't got one of them fancy grinders like you see them PB chefs do. Mine's just plain and simple cooking. I reckon redneck style cooking. Now I got them salt and peppered. And now here's the next ingredient. Now this is a good one. I've got potatoes. Now these are instant mashed potatoes. The reason we like to use instant because you can make them thicker because you're gonna have a bunch of water and moisture coming from the fish and the onions that's going to rise up. But you can do regular potatoes. But this is so eight. This is so simple. Just to you know, put some water or milk or whatever you want in them, and then just put them. And I like to put it oh about a half inch, three quarter of inch thick, and just put them in. Cover your edges good, just like that. And you can't never have enough taters. Of course, you can look at my gut and tell that. But we just put them on here and just get them to the corners. Just cover this dish with these mashed taters. And I've washed my hands now. I, it don't matter because I'm going to eat it anyway. The little filly. Now she's... The little filly, now she generally does this cooking, but she wasn't quite prepared. 
so she's telling me, no, I'm not going to do it. So she's my video, my videographer today. You can see I got a bunch of taters on this son of a gun. And I promise you, once you get your mouth on this thing, it is just, you can't turn it loose now. It's just something else. So I got the taters in. Now, let's go back. That's that, that's that, that's that. Now, I like cheddar cheese. This is just grated cheddar cheese. You can use the pepper jack, you can use mozzarella, you can use anything you want. You know, but I like to cover this thing in a layer of cheese. Don't let me make a mess. Now so far, don't all this stuff sound good? I've got onions, I've got tape, I've got onions, I got crappy. I got instant mashed potatoes. And that's it. That's all we need to make this perfect. Perfect casserole. Now, boy, ain't that pretty. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper right up in here, a little bit of salt and pepper, let that drain down into everything. Gotta love some pepper. And that's all there is to this. Now, we're just gonna pop it in the oven. And let it bake 350 for roughly 40 minutes. That was hot. La-da! Now we're gonna check back in about 40 minutes and let you see the finished item, but that's how simple it is. And I promise you, you will like that. Okay, boys and girls. After 45 minutes, I finally taken it out. And I've got just a little bit of brown on top. Now, if you really want to have that brown toasty cheese, the last 10 minutes, just uh, turn your oven to broil and you'll put that little crust on top of it. But I like it like this. This is my favorite. Now, trust me. Have you heard that before, girls? Trust me, baby, when I tell you how good this is. We're just going to dip into it a little bit. Now, it's hot. I really can't eat it. I got a little bit of crust on top. And you can't just eat a little bit. I promise you that. And here we go. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking so forward to this. That's one little chunk. There's my fish. Everything looks good and the cheese on top. And that's pretty well a crappy casserole. It's easy. Not much of a mess. But you need to try it. I think you'll like it.